Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations. And today is Thursday the 14th. <laughs> I didn't really have to think about that. But it is the 14th of March. And I hope everyone's having a good day. We are having some severe thunderstorms right now. And tornado warnings. And yeah. So I just thought I'd get on here real quick because I've made an attempt already to try to do this video and I kept getting an error message. So I've cleared up some of the storage on my phone because this lady likes to save everything. So we're, we're going to work on that. Um, anyway, if today, March 14th is your birthday, happy birthday to you. If it's your anniversary, happy anniversary to you both. I hope you guys have some good weather today. And if not, stay inside and snuggle up on the couch and watch a good movie. Um, but definitely enjoy your day. Today is my great nephew, Blake. He is, it's his birthday today. He's 15. So happy birthday, Blake. Uh, let's see. So this video is the mystery yarn challenge unboxing for March. So if you are just not following, if you don't know what that is, the mystery yarn challenge is hosted by Lori of the armchair chef. Um, you sign up or you, if she's got room for you, you, you know, just let her know you're interested or whatever. And then if you get accepted for that month, she pairs you with another person and you have a few options. You can just send yarn. You can make something from your stash. Get, I don't know like every single option. Cause I always do. I believe I do option one where I receive yarn. And then I also send yarn out to the person that I'm paired with. Um, because I like receiving yarn. Hello. <laughs> uh, anyway, so you send up to four, I think not up to, maybe it's a minimum of four colors. Now you can send more, but four seems to be what works. So four separate colors or four combo colors, however you want to do it. But Lori would like for one of those, one item that you make, even if it's, I mean, if you just make the one item, then obviously all the colors are going to be incorporated into that one item. But if you wanted to make multiple items, at least one item should be the colors that you received. So all four of them. Now, um, if you haven't seen any of my videos about that, you can look up Mystery Yarn Challenge or you can check out my last video that says Mystery Yarn Challenge uh, finished objects, I believe if, cause I always forget to, to tack it down below. I might remember this time, but if I don't, <laughs> you can check that out and then you will see, um, you'll, she likes for us to take a picture of the yarn that we receive and then what we've made out of that yarn. So that's what I did. Um, it was fun. It's so much fun. I've been doing it over a year now. I hope she doesn't ever stop it because it's just, I don't know. It's just fun to see what other people, come up with. It's just really neat. So, and she gives you until the 10th of the following month. So this one is the unboxing for March. I, I understand that it's March 14th. I'm a few days behind. <laughs> I, I say, I, I gave her, um, my items on the 10th. So I was, I think Sunday. Yeah. So I was kind of pushing it, but she's so great <laughs> and understanding. I'm just super busy. And sometimes I just don't have time to get it done sooner. Although last month, I think I did pretty good. So I did I did pretty well for, for January. So yeah, because this is March. So anyway, um, it is super fun. If you guys are interested, her link will be in the description box below. Just reach out to her. And this, so it wouldn't be for March. It would probably be for April if she has room for you. But just, you know, whatever month you're interested in, she will let you know. I'm not saying that she's got space because, you know, she just had a handful of people when this first started and now she's got more, which is awesome. Now there's, you know, more people that are involved. One month, both of my girls, my youngest and my middle child um, were involved in that as well. And, you know, they really liked it. So I do every month because I really, I really like to do it. It's fun. Um, so anyway, this will be my second attempt. Um, I've, like I said, I've taken some storage off my phone. I had all kinds of videos and stuff on there. Um, so I, I, I have to get rid of some stuff. I don't know why I keep all that. That's kind of crazy. Anyway. <sighs> so thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, if this is the first time you're joining me, I do have, so I'm, I'm like all over the place I feel, but my social media links will be in the description box below because I don't just do YouTube. I'm on 
uh, you know, TikTok, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, I think. I think I got everybody. But they're all in the description box below. And and my Etsy shop is also listed down there. A lot of times when I show items on this, this uh, channel, I will put them in the shop unless they are specifically for someone. So, um, but if you see it, like, you know, I, I, I posted this on my Facebook, right? But it's already been sold. <laughs> this particular color. This is the axolotl pattern from Crochet by Jenna. And it, uh, they saw these colors. And this apparently is a lot of team colors, like, in my area. <laughs> so, it's kind of nice. Well, even not in my area, because my sister-in-law was like, Hey, <laughs> I think it was EUSA. Yeah, so she was also their colors as well. So I guess this goes a long way. But anyway, if you see something and you want me to make it for you, if I don't list it in my shop, all you have to do is reach out to me at happytohook at gmail.com. And I appreciate all of you for, um, you know, liking and subscribing to my channel and following me on the social media platforms and going to my Etsy shop and favoriting items. It really does help us yarny people. Um, mostly I say that because I'm a yarny person, but um, anyone who has a shop that you are aware of on Etsy, it definitely helps find them. So I appreciate you guys for that. Let's see, what else? Um, oh, there was something that I wanted to, to um, uh, address real quick. I had someone, I, I can't remember your name, so I do apologize, but um, <laughs> they must be new to the channel. And, and I say that because um, she was like, you crochet an awful lot. How many hours a day, you know, do you crochet? Do you, you know, do you have time to do like all day or something? And I was like, um, I'll have to, I'll have to address that because I know that as I get new subscribers, not everyone goes back to watch like my <laughs> my very, very rookie videos. Um, so for those of you who don't know, these are for the new ones. I am a full-time housing case manager for a nonprofit organization here in town. And uh, yeah, I, I work full-time, like from eight to five. And three of those days out of the week, sometimes four, I travel out of town to see clients because our agency covers several uh, counties in our area. So I take a bag of crocheting with me, but sometimes I don't get to crochet while I'm out working. But if I'm waiting on a client or I'm, you know, having lunch or I've had a cancellation and I'm out of town, then I'll stop and eat or something or, or call more clients to see if, Hey, you want to see me today? I had a cancellation, you know, things like that. But, um, a lot of times I do get to crochet while I'm uh, waiting on clients. I take them to appointments, you know, whatever that they are needing at that time. And that gives me anywhere from, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour, depending on where we're at, uh, to crochet. So it's kind of nice. And I do crochet when I come home and then I've got the weekends when I don't have a market or anything like that, that I get to crochet as well. Now, when I'm, when I come home, <laughs> I, I'm usually home by five, but sometimes later, I had someone reach out to me and they're like, hey, did you get my last email? And I'm like, I don't know, because I didn't get home till 730 that evening. And I had to do dinner, you know, make sure that we ate. And I catch up with my husband because he's been at work all day as well. So I don't immediately go to that email, but I will check them and try my best to respond to everybody uh, as soon as I can. But I have to take care of my family and, and you know, my husband and stuff. So just uh, just know that I'm not ignoring you, but, you know, I work full time and I've got family that are in this house is like, I feel like it's a revolving door. I've got people that are here. I've got company right now. One is obviously up because I hear them moving around, but I've got two more that are still sleeping. So, <laughs> yes, my life is busy and I wouldn't have it any other way right now. But yeah, so I just wanted to let you know, I would love it if I was able to crochet all day long because it's not like I don't have enough supplies, but, but not right now. Um, I just do it when I can. Some, some days are better than others. That's about all I can tell you. So, um, this bag I'm going to, I'm going to open. Well, it's already open. 
Uh, I didn't take everything out, but I can see what's peeking through it. So this is my person. This is the bag. Wait a minute. <laughs> I always do that. This is the bag that I received. She filled it up. It's like coming out. It's like, come on, Lisa, open me up. So let's get this opened up. My bag is from, well, I don't know. Hold on. Justine. It's from Justine. I, I say I don't know, but I'm I'm saying I don't know where I what I did with the um, the letter. There we go. Aha! Got it. All right. So before I show that to you, um, okay. Hi. Can't wait to see what you make. Blessings, my yarny friend, Justine. Oh. So if you are not aware of who Justine is, um, she reached out to me about a cardigan that I had made, and we've just kind of been chatting ever since. <laughs> She's a great lady. So, um, I was so excited that I got her. Now this is a shirt and they, my kids were like, don't you open that up. You've got to do it on film. So, um, I'm opening this up now. I'm going to back up. And first of all, it's a really good color. I love this Royal blue. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> okay, guys, this is cool. Look at that. I'll be wearing this. <laughs> I'll be wearing this tomorrow. It's Friday. So Friday when I go to work, I usually wear um, something that says, you know, Jesus and coffee or, you know, but first coffee or, you know, something like that because I'm in the office. <laughs> I'm wearing this tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, Justine. That's awesome. Oh, I love the color. I love it. God is dope. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I got a baggie of stuff. All right, let's see here. I got some teas, which is good because I was running low. So, okay, I got to tell you while I'm looking through here, I have developed a liking for, um, my goodness. Well, there we go. Let's just, let's just drop this all over the place. Okay, so we'll fix that, hopefully. All right, guys, hope you're all right. Anyway, I have developed a liking for edamame beans. Yeah, sea salt. I really like it. I didn't think I was going to like them. And Jack has tried them, and he says they kind of remind him of um, sunflower seeds. So, Rip Van Waffles. Okay, that's cute. <laughs> Dutch Caramel Vanilla. I have never heard of these. Rip Van Waffles. That's cool. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's see what we got. Traditional medicinals. Oh, raspberry leaf, organic. Oh, I love raspberry. Never tried that before. Take this moment just for you. Aw. Okay, this one. Oh, there it is. Black tea and spearmint. Uh, yeah, oh, I don't know why I'm showing you the back, sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Tazo butterscotch blondie. I've never had that one either. Look at you. Ooh, and this is a sleep one. Chamomile and lavender herbal tea. Ooh, thank you, thank you. And then I got a pair of scissors. You can never, and I mean never, have enough scissors. Look at that. Uh -huh. Awesome. Oh, these are good too. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. I'm going to take these. These will have to go in my bag. Because my other ones, I have these, um, I don't know where they are, but they're really pointy on the on the end. And I poked myself in the finger the other day. It made me mad. <laughs> I'm just saying. I was not a happy person. I'm going to put my Slim Jims in here because I'm going to take this with me. And I go out traveling. When I go through, uh, um, I always take a mug that will give me, um, that I can have hot water put in. So a lot of times when I go through, like McDonald's is really good about that. And then there's a place in Mattoon called McHugh's um, that we don't have here in town. So they're good about giving me hot water for my tea as well. So I can take that with me. So thank you. So I got an awesome shirt already and then tea and waffles. And then, oh, I got some stuff. All right, let's check out this yarn. Big Twist Reverb. Um, oh, I have it upside down. Hunter Green. Let's see. This is 
the number four recommended hook size is an E. I would not use a four with this. I would definitely use, is it roving maybe? Is it a roving yarn? 100% premium, premium acrylic. I was about to say a cotton. Boy. <laughs> Guys, I just don't know. Anyway, I do, I do like that color. Look at that. Mm. Oh, and how many yards is it? Um, let's see. My stomach. It's oh my gosh. 311 yards in this ball? That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. So I got that one. And then, oops. And then I have a big twist value, which is 380 yards in color mushroom. Recommended hook size for this is an H. So that's good. Oh, and then I'll show them all together. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, this is a this is a Hershner's. Hershner's worsted eight yarn, a full eight ounce ball, 100% acrylic, 489 yards. And the color is meadow. Look at that. Boy, that's a lot of yardage, isn't it? Hmm. Kind of makes me wonder, what am I going to do with it? Okay, let me get this, get that out of the way. Okay, and then I have two of these. Let's see. Oh, loops and threads, facets. Have I used this before? I don't think I've used this before. 279 yards in each one. Three and a half ounces. Let's see, recommended hook size for this, probably oh, a six J hook. So look at those colors. So those are those. There's that one. And then we've got this. And then we have this one. Okay, let me see if I can get them both. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Ah, get back up here. Okay. There we go. So there it is. This is my yarn challenge. This is the unboxing for March. Oh boy. Man, she picked some really good colors. What to do, what to do. Hmm. I got an idea. I got an idea, you guys. All right, so that's the unboxing. Justine, thank you so much. I cannot wait to get started. Um, another thing I wanted to address, <laughs> I've had a lot of you ask me about this blanket. So, um, let me get this off of here. So my daughter, Amanda, she is the, um, she is not a crocheter, uh, and she'll be linked in the description box below. She helps me when I have a large order, uh, especially blankets. <laughs> so last year and the year before we had, uh, let's see, I think the year before I had five blankets I had to make, and then last year I had six. So she comes and gets some um, of my anniversary cakes and we turn them into blankets like lapgans. So this is folded. This is folded in half. Okay. But this is, and I, I don't know what the colorway is. You'll have to watch her channel. Um, I never did find out. I was supposed to, but I didn't. But I did list this in my shop. This is the Lisa stitch. So someone also asked me if it was like the lemon peel. So the lemon peel stitch, you put a single crochet in one and a double crochet in the next. I do single crochet in one, half double crochet in the next. They're not in the same stitch. That's the griddle stitch. It is not that. They are separate stitches. You're going to do a single crochet and then a half double crochet, single crochet, half double, all the way to the end, chain one, and then when you... When um, every time you switch your rows now, you're gonna put the opposite in each stitch. So your half double crochet will be in your single, your single will be in your half double. And it makes this wonderful pattern. I love it, I absolutely love it. And the reason I started with a half double crochet is, if you use a double crochet, if you do use the lemon peel stitch, you're gonna need either a, to make a smaller blanket, cause it's not gonna turn out this size, 
Um, and because it does make a difference. You're using more yarn if you use a double crochet. So, and I learned that the very first time. Then I thought, well, I wonder what it would be like if I just did half double crochet instead of a double. And it kind of went um, went from there. Uh, that's And people are calling the Lisa Stitch because we just don't know what it is right now. Um, I'm sure there's something out there. And if there isn't, then it'll say the Lisa Stitch, I guess. But I just love the way it, it works up. And Amanda has made... I think probably four or five blankets for me already. She works on some and I'll work on the others and that'll get my order done. And this, like I said, it is listed in the shop and she did a great job. She always does, my little boo. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what this is. It was an anniversary cake. I don't know if you can still get it. You know how those anniversary cakes are. Um, they put them out and then when they sell, they don't come back with the same one. It's always like something different. So, um, yeah, so that's what that was. <laughs> anyway, but thanks for asking. So now you know. And if anyone's interested, just hit, um, hit up my Etsy shop and you will find it. I'm looking around to make sure I have everything. Yep. All right. That's it. So now to figure out what I'm going to do with all that wonderful yarn that I was just given. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, safe day today. And I'll see you when I see you. Happy hooking, everyone. Bye for now.